How about you, brother? Use Psalm 21 and uh, fast for two days. I want to see you. They say there is uh, trouble in the family. Nobody will get to anywhere. The senior one is in trouble. Yes, sir. The junior one is in trouble. Yes, it's sir. only you that are just trying to make something different. Yes, sir. You too, you are running from home. Yes, sir. But sir, I'm having a big problem with my wife. I say there is trouble in the family. Yes, sir. There is trouble. I say first, you know the Psalm 21 I answer to read. Yeah, I know. This is the second time this woman is living how? More than that. No, the two. The two major ones. Everything will be over. You are not happy. I'm not happy. Even last week, you did not even go home. Yes, sir. Emmanuel. My name is Anthony Obo. I came from Anambra State, but I reside in Zamfara State. The woman standing by me is my wife, the very woman that the man of God prophesied about that has gone out from the house for about two times, two major times. Man of God, all that you said about me is true. It's very, very true. Since the inception of my marriage, I've had no peace. My wife nags. She's so stubborn, she doesn't listen to me. She's so aggressive, she fights me. She steals my money whenever I keep it in the house. And in fact, this stealing of a thing started from 1,000 to, to about hundreds of thousands. And whenever I talk about it, she will not admit. You remember, this is not a law court. So you take it easy, whatever you say in the presence of God. So please, my brother, because your wife is here to defend herself. Thank you. Man of God, in fact, if not on your invitation, I wouldn't have seen her. She left home since 16th of December last year. And I'm just seeing her because of this, your invitation. And I've tried all possible means to please her as a wife. I have opened shops for her. She's in her seventh shop now that I've opened for her. And nothing good comes out of it. Mr. T.B. Joshua, I want to learn. And others too that are sitting down also want to learn. You say you try to please your wife. How? When I married her newly, when all this problem of money issues started in the house, I complained to the mother. Then the mother said I should open up a shop for her, which I did. And that shop folded up. She's in her seventh shop now. And I bought her cars. She's, she's driving her fourth car now. All this is to please her. These are the efforts you have put in place. Yes, yes, man of God. The greater assistant and whatever you, what you can do to your wife is first deliverance. What your wife can do to, for you is also you delivered. Because if you are not go through deliverance, all what you are saying now, the job, the money, the, you are giving it to someone who is not your wife. Because there are two nature in one person. If the nature of your wife is not of holiness, and your own nature too is not of holiness, definitely you are married someone's ex-wife. And your wife also is married someone else, husband. Can you see? We need to go through this screening. Deliverance will, will channel whatever support they have to the right person. Assume you have gone through the deliverance, your help, your assistant, and whatever you have been doing for your wife will be seen, will be obvious. People will see, will appreciate it. Where are those seven shops forecast? Sir, these shops always fold up without nothing coming out of it. And presently now, of all those things I do for her, she goes out of the house. And just this day, I went into her profile in the Facebook. I saw her pictures displayed as if she's like, uh, is beating herself. I find pictures of actors, actresses, musicians, comedians. And at times, she brings home a photograph of some actors where she took photographs with them. And if any time I try to intervene, it's, it is going to be a fight in the house. 
So, man of God, she's a mother of four children. She left these children. I'm the one that is taking care of these children. I cook for them. I feed them. I take them to school. She could not help me. She is there. My sister, you know you need deliverance? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Anybody that hear your voice will know that look, it's like a, a force you cannot resist. We really feel for you. We know after your deliverance, you appreciate everything more. Emmanuel. My name is Miss Cynthia Obo. I came from Zamfara State. So what brought me for Synagogue Church of All Nations is that I left my husband since December because of too much of beating. And he's not taking care of me. All this car that he says he buys for me. Anything that I do, my husband doesn't like anything that I do. Maybe I dress, he will beat me about it. This is that I love my husband very well and my children. You love your husband very well? Very, very well. Thank you very much. I love him so much with my oh, four kids. You even put so much. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Hey, I like that. Okay, that is good. Satan is a liar. But it was true that your husband said he established seven shops and the four cars. No, it's not seven shops. So. How many shops? Mm. It's only three. If the husband says seven and you say three, it's very, very close. <laughs> it's very, very close. Very, very close. Three, seven, it's close. So your husband is right. You too, you are right. Please, man of God. I want to tell you something. I love my husband so much, my four kids. But the problem I have in my marriage is that there are people. Is there people that are telling him what to do? What to go right or left in my, mar in my home? And I don't like it. Anything that I do, my husband doesn't like it. Beating is always, look at my hand, my waist here. I don't know anything. Anything that I do to my husband, my husband will not like it. Please, I use, I'm using this opportunity to beg him. I want to live with him. Okay. But okay, is that beating right. always? It, it's all right. It's all right. We look at your husband, we appreciate him. And we look at you, we appreciate you. That's really true that there is so much care. You people just have to go through deliverance. Talking about your husband, the family, I don't see this man, I don't know him, I'm meeting him for the first time. But I, in the spirit, I don't see, it's not a man that you can just control, the family can just control. He believes that he has his own family. I mean, he has independent mind. So I think for saying the family is controlling him, I think uh, by the time we go through the deliverance, we appreciate that uh, there's nothing like that. And the two, there are some issues your husband should talk about, the Facebook, the picture, which you have confirmed is true. That is true. Thank you. Thank you. No husband will see that kind of thing and will have peace. The marriage cannot and they cannot. So, okay, I think uh, going too far and doing this kind of thing, the husband, instead of asking you to go, you, you left the house. Yes, sir. Which is abomination. Because he's supposed to sack you, but you sack yourself. Which is wrong. It's an embarrassment to your husband. So, very, very big embarrassment. So, you are now making your husband to begin to beg you, looking for you, whereas you are the one that have done worst. Instead of coming together and go to family and ask them to beg your husband, take me for deliverance and all that, you are not interested, you left the house, your husband begin to search for you, and he love you, you know he love you, you are just giving him pain. Man of God, because I'm a musician, gospel musician. And your husband knew this before marry you? No. Let me ask your husband, he says she's a musician. 
Yes, man of God. It was some two years back. She developed it. You marry her as a musician? No, no. Take it easy. This is where problem come from. When you are not marrying me as a teacher, and I get to your home, I become a teacher. Okay? So this is where trouble come from. A lot of things just like that. After deliverance, sir, and you are self-deliver, I will now meet you people. Let me ask my brother, this is your only, your dear one, you love her so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let me ask my sister. You love him so much. Very well, sir. Thank you. So now let's go through the deliverance. After the deliverance, we realize the love, the amount of love, because right now you, you don't know how much he loves you. And you, you don't know how much she loves you. But after the deliverance, you realize that, oh, my dear one, I'm sorry. I don't know you love me so much. Mm-hmm. So thank you. So can you see this reconciliation without deliverance? Nobody can reconcile. And no forgiveness without deliverance. I'm supposed to reconcile them, but millions of me cannot try it. If I now say, come together, oh, you love mm, for a moment. When they get home, after one week, the trouble will start. But the solution is for them to be delivered. That spirit that causes that disunity, crisis in the house, you need to be cast out. After casting these two spirits out, now I can now come to the table and say, okay, how are you? Fine. Do you know how much he loves you? Yes. You know how much he loves you? Yeah. Okay, let's talk. What happened in the power happened? Place is over. Please reconcile them. That is reconciliation. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, no forgiveness without deliverance. No reconciliation without deliverance. That's all. Madam, what lesson have you learned from these couples? Now, you are expecting us to settle the matter and uh, bring them together and let them go and live together. But upon all what we have said today and the confession, the testimony and everything, and we have got some evidence, but yet we could not bring them together. We are talking of deliverance, power of God. What can you tell us about this? Because this is what is happening in the whole world today. We have to be sensitive to the leading of God. And it's not good to listen to one person and make a conclusion and won't listen to the other. And both of them might be standing next to each other and be telling lies. It's only God that was between the two of them. And man of God can discern and see what happened and allow God to lead him to bring them together, especially if God really joined them together. Thank you very much. Thank you. What do I have to say? I am from Italy. I am from Sri Lanka. Okay. How do, how do you say it? Uh, they need deliverance. Husband and wife, they need deliverance. Then we can go together and we hold the spirit of God. That's how I think. Thank you very okay. much. Fueled and fired by the mighty power of God, wise man John Chi moves amidst the congregation, setting the captives free in Jesus' name. Let's watch as he encounters this woman, who earlier on was advised by Prophet T.B. Joshua that she should go for deliverance in Jesus' name. Fire of Jesus! Who are you? <gasps> I'm the husband. How many of you are in this body? Speak! How many of you? Okay, number one. I'm the husband. You are the spiritual husband? Yes. From where? Mm. River. From the river? Yes. Le long de la rivière. Who is number two? The idol. The idol. From the husband's side. Either long, de la number famille. three? The idol. Idol. From the father's side. <coughs> what have you done Pardon? to this woman? Je vais la tuer. We will kill her. Why? Mm. I cause her sickness. Cause des maladies. Sickness. Uh -huh. All over her body. What else have you done? Mm. In her marriage. In the mm. What have you done to the marriage? Mm. I said, I don't, I don't want her to marry now. Uh -uh. Je veux pas <sighs> 
La She's my wife. Es mi esposa. She is your wife. Yes. No, now look here. Because... Who is this man? If she is your wife, who is this man? I don't know him. Uh -uh. Okay, you don't know him. Yes. Did you know me? Yes, I know you. You are my wife. Uh -huh. You are my wife. You are my wife. He said you are the wife. Uh -uh. I don't know him. Je pas. No, 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 no. She says she does not know you. You no. are my wife. No te you are my wife. <laughs> Tell us. What has been her attitude since you got married to her? From the beginning of our marriage, it has been hell. In fact, she fights me in the house. She's arrogant. She's aggressive. In, in most cases, if she needs anything in the house, either money or anything at all, she locks me up in the room Rebelde, and arrogante. will start fighting me. If I don't give that in to her, she no will not allow that. me to go. And this has been happening from the inception of our marriage. And there's this, uh, one day I went into her profile in her Facebook. I saw a lot of pictures. In fact, I started to wonder if she's like, is beating herself for marriage again. Because the pictures I saw there is about up to 200 of her own that does not portray her as a wife. And my own picture as the husband, I could not see it there. Our children's picture, I could not see it there. All I saw there was musicians, actors, these are the pictures, and at times you see a particular actor, you see her, his picture up to three, four, or ten times. But my own picture is not there. And there is this day I was like, because when she, there is this day she came home, then I asked her that if she has deleted, because it, it, it brought quarrel between both of us. Then I asked her to delete all that she has recorded, the photographs she took with the actors. She accepted. Then one day I collected her phone. I saw that the pictures are still there, that she has not deleted it. And this was in, at, at night. We were lying down on the bed. So as I was still going through that, uh, the, the, the photographs, a message came in. And behold, the message was from a man. And it reads, I feel your body. So I was like mad. I asked her. She didn't give me a good answer to that. And she has no affection for me. All she does is Facebook. You talk to her, she goes to the toilet. She's, she will pretend as if she's going to ease herself. She will be there playing, playing all kind of things there with her Facebook. So it has been a hell in my house. I can't keep money in my house. She's, in fact, we can't stay for an hour as husband and wife. We cannot interact as, as, as husband and wife for an hour without quarrel. We have never disagreed to agree. It's always quarrel. It's always quarrel. And she leaves the house at any time she wishes to leave and comes back any time she wishes to come back. Though man of God really mentioned two major times. The first one was she left with the children. All of, I came back, I met nobody in the house. I was, I, then I started asking, I called her number, she said she has gone. She went with the children, deprived them of going to school for about three months. Before I now went and we deliberated with the family, then I brought them back again. Now she left, this very one now, she left 16th of December. She told the son that she's leaving and she's, no more, she's not going to come back again. When I called her, she said she's on her way and she will never come back to the house again. Not until I came to this synagogue. All this while I've been running around searching for a solution to bring her back to the house. She has never done anything that she, maybe if she's at fault, she will never admit to her fault until I beg her before things will not be, be normal in the house. We have never agreed on anything. So please, man of God, I beg you to deliver her. Who is the cause of all this? You demon, speak out! Who is the cause? It's me. You are the cause? Yes. What else have you done? But I want to kill this girl. Why? I want to kill her. The couple needs to kill her. Why do you want to destroy her marriage? I don't want her to marry. Okay, you don't want her to marry? Yes. I want her to belong to me. She's belong to me. Oh. Hmm? What have you done to this man? This man? Nothing. She, she loved this man. 
so much. And what is bad in loving him? You cannot go near this man. Be you, this man. She will fight you. She will just. She will tear you. Sinon, va te déchirer. But I want this girl. I want her. I don't want anybody to be touching her. Je veux pas que personne ne puisse la toucher. Period. Okay, you don't want anybody to be touching her. No quiero que nadie la toque. You demon. Porque es mi esposa. You have a beginning. You have an end. Elle a complètement détruit sa vie et son foyer. Nous voulons pas qu'elle puisse avoir de respect vis-à-vis de son époux. All over your body, Holy Ghost. Fire in the name of Jesus. Elle a même quitté la maison et laissé ses enfants. Liberation de l'esposo espiritual. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Forzado esta mujer para salir de su casa dejando a su esposo. Fire in the name of Jesus. Y cuatro hijas. Every part of your body, your hair. Son nombre. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your feet. Son mari a quitté vestir. Your stomach. Fire in the name of Jesus. All over your body. Every part of your body. Il n'avait pas toujours gagné l'affection de sa femme. Holy Ghost, fire! À cause de l'influence de ce mari. You wicked demon! Fuego, en el nombre de Jesús. Because of this body! Quemado todo espíritu impuro en la vida de esa mujer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Su matrimonio. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ! Il a détruit sa vie aussi à travers l'internet et le Facebook. Fire! All over your body! Il y avait des amis, musiciens, artistes. Il se prenait tout le temps des photos. Your time has expired. Out in the name of Jesus. Stand up, you are free. Il se marie. Déclarada libre en el nombre de Jesús, del esposo espiritual, ídolo en la familia que había destrozado su matrimonio. Ves cómo corre. No quiere ver las cámaras. Vemos su reacción después de recibir esa liberación en el poder del Espíritu Santo. Come, sister. How are you? I'm fine. What happened to you? I don't know. Don't you think I don't know what happened? Is it yours? Yes. Do you know what happened to you? How did it get there? How did it get there? I don't know. You said you are three in this body. Three? You say you are a spiritual husband. You say you are the idol. That's what you said. No, it's not me. No, no, so yo. This is your husband. Yes. You are meeting on the rear side of this woman after her deliverance. She left the house. You listen to her. On the side of the children. Yes. And now after her deliverance, the love for her husband. Why are you crying? Reconciliation after the deliverance. So you listen to her. This shows that the demon that spoke through her has been cast out by Jesus. Hallelujah. She was not the one that spoke, but the demon spoke. And Jesus has cast the demon out. Amen. So nobody should for any reason remind her of what she said. Lest you fall into the same temptation. She is free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for setting my wife free. Thank you for delivering my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. You are maintenant son épouse recevoir le toucher d'un message pour délivrance totale. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. We are free.